a lot of stuff that come with relationships, like like this right here, right? That right there, that come with a relationship. You see how his arm is wrapped around her? That's why I don't want to be in a relationship no more. <laughs> his arm tired as fuck, his arm tired as fuck, his arm tired as fuck. It's, you see this selfish shit going on? Everybody are tired of the motherfucker. They just sitting up here, but I love you. I love you. I love you. Look at everybody. See, I love her. Fuck that. No, like, goddamn, take your arm back right now. <laughs> Fight for that shit. That is the most selfish shit that a woman can do. I don't never see. I've been at the marches, too. I got four sisters. I'm out there with my shit like equality, equality. Hold me. Hold me. Especially again, then with the cuddling, then y'all want to do it at home. Like, hold me at home. I'm like, what the fuck? That is some selfish shit. That cuddling shit, that's some selfish shit. That is some selfish shit. I'm gonna be honest, I'm going to tell y'all because I'm single now, right? I couldn't say this when I was in a relationship because I was trapped. I had to lie. Yes! Cuddle time! Because y'all be coming to the bed like that's the most exciting thing. Like this, oh my God, babe, it's cuddle time. And because you want to fuck, you like this. Oh, my God, it's cuddle time. <laughs> you don't get that pussy. Oh, my God, it's cuddle time. You in there excited as hell for this suffrage. That's what you about to do. You about to fucking suffer. That's what it is. I bet you didn't know that most nights, right? Boom. I bet you didn't know, right? Because you think it's a good idea like this. Put your arm. I just want to lay my head. I just, just, just my head. Just my whole head. Like, I just want to lay my, my dead head. I just want to put it on your arm all night. Oh, we're so cute. Right? I bet you didn't know. Most nights, he's trying to figure out how big your head is. Did you know that? <laughs> While you slowly choking the life out of his hand, he like, God damn. I done married some bow. Somebody with a 20-pound head. This is crazy. I can't even feel my wrist right now. Then that shit work up to your elbow. During that commercial break, you start looking again. You're like, God damn. It's got a 50 pound head. This is crazy. Because then by the time Sports Center over, that's when you wake up, you got to go to the bathroom. You're like, oh, hell no. She done killed my goddamn arm. She wonder why it's pee all over the toilet seat. <laughs> got me these new draws. Then this is the other part too, right? I say this, and I'm, I'm glad that I'm gonna get the fuck off stage because some of y'all black women gonna be like, burn him! <laughs> These bonnets, what the fuck? Can we, can we talk about the bonnets? Can we talk about them, right? Because like, nothing's worse, nothing's worse in cuddle time than, than, than this hand-me-down bonnet that you got. <laughs> Right, because y'all don't like to have a conversation at all. As soon as you be like this, baby, so what's up with these bonnets like this? Like, you want to talk about my bonnet? You don't like my bonnet? Like, no, nah, I'll fuck you with the bonnet on. Like, just, we just need a clean bonnet. That's all we need. <laughs> I'll play the bonnet game with you. Like, you put it on, I see we fucked, try to see if we can keep it on. Like, oh, shit. I just need you to watch this motherfucker, but they get so sensitive. You be like, I need this bonnet in a group chat with other bonnets. Like, it just need to know other bonnets like how many bonnets is a good number of bonnets oh y'all don't want to talk about that huh i'm serious like because that shit like y'all get sensitive too like this why would you talk about my bonnet this is my grandmama's grandmama's bonnet like like i know i can smell the hand-me-down in this motherfucker like the, the slavery and fucking oppression in this bitch i started with i was going through a breakup <laughs> Just wanted to reference it with that before I get out.